Okay, welcome back everybody. Once again, we're doing another video of one of my mods, one of my uh, multi-copter mods. I, I, you know, a lot of people call them drones. I, I don't really care to call them drones. I've been building, modifying, customizing, flying since about 2007 when there were, weren't really a lot of options out there. Uh, I pretty much learned a little bit of German. Uh, by dealing with Silverlit. I don't know if any of you guys were familiar with the Silverlit uh, XUFO. It was the original Styrofoam UFO before Parrot came out with the AR drone. It pretty much looks a lot like it. As a matter of fact, I still have it. I should pull it out, do a video with it, let you see what those look like. Um, but anyway, started off in 2007, customizing them. So a lot of my stuff came from China. A lot of stuff came from Germany. So uh, I'm happy to see that... Um, it has gotten a lot more popular. A lot of people, they call them drones, but I still call them multi-copters because that's what they are. Um, um, I call my helicopters, helicopters, but everything to me is RC and I designate it to what it is. Drones, a little bit military, a little bit too military for me. But anyway, uh, we're here uh, because I still wanted to show you one of my other customs that I did. Now, I don't remember... Uh, Depending on where I put this video, I uh, there's a video of a Hobby King H4 that I modified uh, heavily. Um, not heavily, but I did some modifications to it for my, my to suit my needs. But uh, I spoke on the uh, the frame, and I said inside there were some green arms, well, green stabilizers that came inside the frame that stiffened the frame, and it also encloses the the. Uh, ESCs and all your wiring so you don't see that in between the two plates. So to get this video rolling I wanted to show you uh, another mod that I did. Um, this is a total custom build. Uh, I don't really have a name for it yet um, but basically if you look at it it is a Y6 copter. Uh, it's a hex but it's not shaped like a hex it's six motors. Um, uh, let's see what what motors did I put on here? I mean, I have all these projects uh, the TM2212 1000 kV You can see that right there Okay, got six of those motors on there KK2.0 There we go X8R Receiver and uh, if you're looking at this, if you notice those green spars that go from front to back, uh, those are the stabilizers, the bars that come inside the Hobby King H4. And since I got rid of them, hey, I'm one of those guys that, you know what, if I have it, I'm going to use it. Uh, if you notice, we also have the same style carbon fiber motor mounts uh, that I picked up on eBay. Uh they work well they go on all kinds of applications love them uh, so I've been very interested in building a tricopter tricopters are cool the whole servo and and pivoting thing cool but I like motor redundancy when it comes to flying um, it does add weight but it also is a safety feature um, that helps in the event one motor goes out you have another to back it up um, so, if you, if we, since we're going to continue with this video, I should open this up, show you what happens when it's all opened up. Okay, there it is. Now, just so you know, not only is, not only, <coughs> uh, this is basically a mock-up of like various parts. Uh, I think we had one of those quads, those DJI quads, though. The regular DJI quad, the uh, 450 or 500, whatever it is. The quads, quads I use the plates from them. You notice. Uh, we also have uh, a couple other plates on the inside. It, it's, it consists of one, two, three, four, and a bottom plate. Bottom plate, actually, uh, another part from the, uh, whatchamacallit, another part from the uh, H4. The landing gear which I utilized uh, on this um, gives it a nice bounce spring so uh, there's not a lot of shock um, I have mystery 30 amp speed controllers in here uh, 
but some of all things, it, it came out pretty nice. I'm a stickler for wiring. I'm a, I like my wiring to look a little pretty neat. Uh, as neat as possible. <laughs> um, it's, for, it's, it's function and form. Uh, I'm actually going to put some spaces in here. So there's a little bit less of this. Um, even though it's, it's pretty rigid, I'm actually squeezing it pretty hard. The more rigid, the more torque. Um, so, um, this is, yeah, this is the build. I have, uh, my battery connector on the inside there. It's a little dark. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we can see it right there. Uh, this is for FPV equipment. If you notice, the antennas run down the V formation on the legs. Sorry about that. A little prop in the shot. And then I have a, another plug there. That's for the battery. This one is for 12 volt accessory. I could, uh, to distribute 12 volt power but I have a nice uh, 12 volt distribution board in there but yes that's my Y6 copter and uh, if you have any questions about it um, feel free to shoot me comments let me know what you think about it you know if you want to try build one of these go for it these things are a lot of fun to fly uh, they have a nice swooping effect when you fly them so for FPV it's more almost like a helicopter um, uh, very like plane like helicopter type flight. So, uh, okay, got any questions, comments? Feel free to leave them and I would be happy to answer when I get the chance. Okay, thank you, everybody. Bye.